Hi guys, it's James here from Optics Warehouse, your night vision and hunting specialist. And today I have the brand new PARD DS3570 range finding version. This is the tube scope version from PARD um, in the latest of their night vision weapon scope range. As you can see, it comes with an onboard IR and with a laser range finder with the ballistic cal calculator inside. But I will come on to the ballistics in a, uh, in a separate video. Today, what we're here to do is to learn how to zero the scope. Obviously, that is potentially the most important thing to do with the scope, make sure it's absolutely bob on before you uh, before you start fiddling with um, with other parameters, so to speak. Um, looking at the scope itself, obviously it's a nice compact scope, nice and lightweight, certainly the most lightweight day-night scope um, on the market at the moment, there's no doubt about that at all. Been a lot of fantastic reviews, got that 800 by 800 circular display inside and obviously that extended eye relief, so two fantastic features on there which do allow you to then um, use it as, as efficiently as a day scope as you would be able to a night scope. So, without further ado, I have bore sighted this at 50 yards. I'm quite confident with where it is on the bore sight. Uh, it's in the red in the middle, happy with that. So I am expecting it to go a couple of inches high at 100 yards as you would with a rising 243 round, which is what this is. Um, and then we can just simply adjust down from there and then we will confirm it with a few gong shots. And as you can see, the rain is just starting to come in now. So hopefully we can get this in just before it starts to really bucket it down. So, without further ado, let's put a couple of shots in at 100 yards to see exactly where it's going. Now, unfortunately I can't actually record the shots itself um, through the unit because obviously I wanted to, to show you that and then go onto the menu. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fire the shots and then we're going to use some movie magic to actually get a camera behind and show you exactly where the shots have gone and then obviously how to zero from there. So, rounds in the magazine. Let's, uh, let's see where this goes at 100 yards. Let's just focus that one slightly. Okay. <clears throat> okay, I can see that's just gone high and right, so that's to be expected. So let's see where this one goes. And there you go, it's literally gone just below the first round, you quite clearly see, especially with these nice fist targets. Um, yeah, and so we will zero from that position there. Okay, so as you can see from that really nice circular display, all we're gonna do is go press and hold the top button, press and hold it down there. Oh, hang on a sec, I've got my Wi Fi on, that's right, start again. Turn it off. Come on, right, okay. Right, so there we go, we have the display. So all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna press and hold the top button, and then that comes up with all the features and functions, and we're just gonna scroll down till we get to reticle adjustment. We're on profile A, and we just press down to get to each one. X, obviously, we're not adjusting, and then Y, we're gonna adjust as such. So, what I'm going to do is as soon as I press this to start adjusting it, it's going to freeze the frame for me, so I just need to freeze that as central as I possibly can. Hang on, there you go, tell a light. There you go. Start, as soon as I start scrolling, I should say. So there you go, if I just go on to Y there. Okay, and then... Okay, so I started there. So now all I need to do is simply twist the Y until I get to where I want to go. There you go, you can see it moving there. there you go. I just move it across up there. And then I want to go back to the X and scroll that one to the two shots that we took up there. Next thing we want to do is obviously choose your style. Um, so you can go through various different reticle options. Um, I say I quite like style six. Go down, you've got your various colours. And there, yeah, let me go see. The trouble is, the only thing I don't like about this part is that you can't carry on carry on scrolling once you reach the limit you've then got to scroll the other way um, a bit of a limitation but it does make it it doesn't it's not a massive hindrance press all the way down to save and then press and hold the save button and there you go you've now now sorted out your zero so all you do is you press on the top buttons to go back and there you have it ready to rock and roll okay so as you can see uh, we had to use a bit of recording um, movie magic there to show you exactly what's going on through the screen itself 
nice and easy to set up and go through the various different settings. What I'm going to do now, I've got two rounds. I'm going to put one on the target and then I'm going to put one on the, um, no, I tell a lie actually, what I'm going to do just to be that extra safe is I am actually going to grab two more. He says, grab two more out of here and then I'm going to um, put two on the target and one on the gong to double check the actual shot itself. I say the gong size is the sort of target area you'd expect to shoot a fox at 100 yards, so I'm quite happy with that if it does hit it. So, let's put that on there, let's catch on. Okay, so, let's go. Right. Yeah. Happy with that one. So put it on the gong. There we go. As you can hear, nice positive reaction from the gong there. Right, okay, so that was the um that was a zero. As you can see, confirmed with a few gong shots at 100 yards. Nice and easy to do. Very simple setup. Obviously, just watch the video and you have any questions at all please don't hesitate to get in contact with us. Obviously our email address and our phone number is on the website. Um, I hope this has been an informative video. I've been James, your night vision hunting specialist, and this has been another video by Optics Warehouse.